In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for ammonium phosphate plus zinc nitrate. So with net ionic equations, the first thing we do is balance the molecular equation. I've already balanced this molecular equation. If you need help, there's a link in the description on how I did the balancing here. After we have that balanced molecular equation, we can write the state for each substance. So you need to know your solubility rules to do that. Ammonium compounds, they are very soluble little AQ. That's going to dissolve, split apart into the ions here, aqueous. Zinc nitrate. Nitrates are very soluble, AQ. And then here we have ammonium nitrate. That'll be soluble. But when we get to the zinc phosphate, phosphates here, they're often insoluble. So I would expect this to be insoluble, but I want to check on a solubility chart just to make sure. So I'm looking for zinc, which is way down here, and then phosphate, which is over here. So we got our phosphate, we come down and over. And you can see most of the phosphates are insoluble. And zinc phosphate, that I, that means it's insoluble. It's not going to dissolve when we put it in water. So because of that, the zinc phosphate is going to be a solid. These two compounds here will react, and this will be a solid. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes part into their ions. And that'll give us the complete ionic equation. So we have the ammonium ion right here. That has a 1 plus charge. And then the phosphate, that's always 3 minus. So we have 3 ammonium ions times 2. 3 times 2, that is 6. So we have 6 ammonium ions. And I won't write the states right now. We'll do that at the end. Plus 2 of the phosphate ions. Then zinc is a transition metal, but it's always 2 plus and the nitrate ion is always one minus. So we have three zinc ions and three times the two of these nitrate ions. So we have six nitrate ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have the ammonium ion again, that's plus, the nitrate is minus, six ammonium ions, just like the reactants, plus six nitrate ions. And then the zinc phosphate, we don't split that up because zinc, that's a solid. So we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So that just says Zn3PO42. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants and in the products. I see I have six ammonium ions in the reactants and in the products. Let's get rid of that. I see six of these nitrate ions here and again in the products. So I can get rid of those. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for ammonium phosphate plus zinc nitrate. I'll clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for the ammonium phosphate and zinc nitrate. You'll note that charge is conserved. I have two times three minus, that's six minus, three times two plus, six plus. So six minus six plus, they add up, give a net charge of zero. Over here, we have a neutral compound. So that has a net charge of zero as well. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on both sides. Often you'll see the positive ion written first. It really doesn't matter. Uh, it might look a little bit nicer. Either way, this is the balanced net ionic equation for NH43PO4 plus ZnNO32. Thanks for watching.